waits in the final of the North American Darts Championship. One of these men will face him for $10,000 and a place at Ali Pali for the World Championship. Huge, huge prize on offer here at the Tropicana in Vegas. Is it going to do? Willie J, Willard, Bruyere. The third. Or will it be awesome Dawson Merchant? 21 years old. He's come through the game of the tournament in the quarterfinals, seeing off David Cameron in a deciding leg. But Bruyere, in his very first PDC event, finished like a demon in the quarterfinals. Only missed two darts at double. He was taking out checkouts. He wasn't even supposed to take out. But it won in the legs, and that's all that mattered. Rod, I know you have told me many, many times, many times, it's all about the youth. And this young man, Dawson Merchell, looks like he has something about him. Yes, he does, and he's been playing, you know, back in England on our Challenge Tour and our Development Tour. You know, the Development Tour is, is really the youth tour. Um, so he, he's getting good pedigree. He's playing over there, you know, there's a lot of good players. And they're tough to beat as well. But it's an interesting game. I mean, is Bruger going to hit the doubles like he did in that earlier match? 17. But Michel, he showed great grit and determination to get back in the game, you know. And I like to see that, especially in young players. Yeah, coming from 3 1 down there against David Cameron. Wow. And doing so, as you say, in a, in a determined manner. Sometimes you can see young players fold in those pressure situations, particularly up on the big stage. Well, we, we need to see professionals uh, fold and think they can't uh, get back from where they are, but uh, anything can change. Three darts change as a leg. One. And, uh, that isn't over until it's over. You see too many people give up games and you think... Oh. And it's normally the early legs, Dan, that Very changes good. a match. You think, oh, I had three darts to go, three one up, and... You know, all of a sudden it's two all. It, it makes huge differences in that early part of the match, and that's where you've got to stay focused. Well, Dawson referred to Jeff well, Smith, former Lakeside finalist, of course, as his mentor, has been since the age of 17, the last four years or so. He's been working with him today, he's been in the practice room. How valuable could that be, having somebody like Jeff in your corner preparing you for games such as this? Oh, it's, it's worth four tunes. Um, it, and it's great to see the younger players now will you know? listen to a senior professional. But you don't professionals that have got a, a flaw in their throw or a little kink, um, they don't want to listen to anybody. But no, I'm all right. Nothing wrong. Um, you know, you, you've got Jeff wow. Smith, who's, who's been there. He's, he's a good player. And he's given little tips. You don't have to change someone's complete throw. and this, But it's just little identifying little things. A little percentage change can make it all the difference. There needed to be more than a little percentage change in that dart there from Dawson Michelle that was significantly not awesome as he went for the bullseye and hit halfway to treble 13. But Bruyere tops. Well, well, well. He's already missed as many darts at double in this game as he did in his quarter final. And a chance for Michelle to break the throw and go 1 0 up. Treble 20 for double 10. Wonderful stuff. Takes it out in two. The Canadian 1 0 up. Yeah, and a good bit of celebration to go with it as well, Dan. That'll give the young man confidence. And, and it's going to be interesting there because Bruce in his first game, hit everything. Now he's missed two darts a double. Although they were close, they weren't in. So it's going to be interesting to see wow. what sort of focus now he's going to have. Strong response from the South Dakota copper. Ninety-nine. We have many policemen play PDC darts. I can't think of many. We got a fireman, Jim Walker. A few firemen I know. Fifty-nine. Yeah, funny enough, Russ Spray used to be a policeman in his early days, Metropolitan Police. And a junior high jump record holder, Russ Bray. He's lived a life. He was, as yes. the boys. 
I don't think he can jump very high now. By the way. <laughs> but this is starting to warm up. Well, that knocks the three off. Well, this is what, what we nickname the setup, isn't it? You know, around this area, you need to set it up. You've got to go out in, in six darts, two handfuls. And uh, this is where you can win games and legs where, you, you know, perhaps you're not in it. You know, you see that your opponent just missed a treble. He hasn't set the shot up. And Michelle here, what he's got to do, if he doesn't take it out, he's got to give himself a chance to come back with two darts at a double. And that's cost him one dart at a double, unless well. he follows it up with another treble. Yeah, I mean, he may go bullseye here, may look at the treble 18. He has gone ball, and he's set out magnificently in the end. He's rescued that visit, but Gruyere is going to get a dart. It's a double top, and this time he pins it. Breaks back, 1-1. Yes, after having two darts at the double top with that previous leg, to take that out was uh, pretty impressive. It's so easy to have the doubts in your mind that you've already wasted two at the tops, but a uh, well, good bit of focus. In the zone, as the Americans call it. First chance of USA, USA here at the Tropicana as well. The wow. latest venue for PDC darts, adding to the glamorous list of Ali Pali, Barnsley Metrodome. Wow. As lovely as this is, this doesn't have a pirate-themed water park, unlike the Barnsley Metrodome. I would stress that. Well, I'm right up. Well, I'm right. we'll leave you in Barnsley next time, Dan. <laughs> 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 and I'll take the trip out here. I don't mind uh, doing that for the company. Sort of player I am, or person I am. I don't play them more. Yeah, you're a good company, man, Rob. We know. It's all work, work, work for you. That works for Dawson Michelle. Leaves him 1-2-1. One, one. Looking to break throw again, but this is a perfect setup shot from Gruyere. And Michelle is being forced to take this out. Now, he's just seen his opponent take out a ton plus while he was sat on 40. Bullseye. And there it is. It is a belter from Awesome Dawson. Absolutely superb from the young man, showing a lot of character and experience as well. Well, 2 1 up, and all three legs have been won with clean kills. He has, looks like he's got the game, I've got to say, and if he keeps improving and he listens to Jeff Smith, then uh, there's no reason why. You know, what, what are you going to do, Dan, as a young man like him? You haven't got to set your sights too high. You know, go, if I can improve a couple of percent every year over the next oh, five years, that 10% is a, is a huge difference and could put him in the pro leagues. But if you think you want that 10% by the end of this year, that may not happen, and that's when young men's confidence get dented. Well, a lot of the young players nowadays, they, they want what Michael Van Gerwen's got, and they want it yesterday. And... A lot of young men with terrifying talent on the dartboard, and this this young man from Medicine Hat in Canada can count himself among them. Well, also, what do what you got to remember about Michael Van Gerwen? What six, seven years ago, he was winning really nothing, the odd little competition, but he was finding it very hard, and he was getting very frustrated. But all of a sudden, he got into a groove and he improved a bit over the next two years, and look where he is now—the hottest property on the planet. Snarl from the shell there, but the last dart sets it up perfectly. Bruyere, trouble 19 for the bullseye. Oh. Well, this is a top quality game, Dan. You know, Bruyere just under the 100, but Michelle 103.5 on the average. Well, they're the first two darts at double that he's missed, but he takes that 32 out in that visit, so it does not matter. 100% on the visit, you're exactly right. It doesn't matter about whether it's the first or the third. As long as you hit that double, that's all that counts. I know sometimes we overemphasize, you know, averages and what have you, and we see that. That's a top-quality game.
different kind of feeling, is it? If you're taking out your double first dart every time, you're going to be flying and you'll be very, very confident. But taking it out last dart when you know you have to, there's something to be said for that. To hitting it under serious pressure. Yeah, well, when you've got three darts in your hand, sometimes the first one's only thrown uh, not with the real aggression. You know, you need to, to focus. And you think, oh, well, it's all right, I've missed the first dart. But then all of a sudden you miss the second. Then the third dart becomes the panic dart. No panic on that last visit from Dawson Michelle. But Bruyere fighting back here. If he can go into the break at 3-2, he he's still averaging over 100 here, Bruyere. He's gone the 14s rule. And just misses double top. But if you're going to miss, miss outside because your opponent's 300 points back. And you're going to get another crack at it. You're getting to know this game, Dan. Yes, I'll give you that. You, yes, that's so important if you're going to miss. Because if he's coming down at the 10s and all of a sudden yeah, Michelle yeah. turns up and he's hit a good a good score, put a bit of pressure on, then you split the 10s. Yeah, but he hasn't. Yeah. He's left the double top. He's pinned it first on that next visit. And he closes the gap to just one leg. What a semi-final we are have on our hands here. The young man from Canada, Dawson Michel. 3-2 up on Willard Drugier III, fighting it out for a place in the final of the North American Dance Championship. To get to this stage, awesome Dawson Michelle has already come through one last leg decider. He could have to come through another here. Maximum of six legs left in this semi final. Michelle does have that vital break of throw he needs. Yes, and that's the telling thing about this match so far, Dan. That that break of throw can be so important. He just holds on to his throw now strongly, and he is going to be in the final. That ten thousand dollars and added to that, you know, that round at the Alley Pally is another ten thousand pound this year, just for turning up. And can go up very, very quickly. And it doubles each round. Well, Dawson Michelle came to qualifying school at the start of this year, didn't get his tour well, card, well, but he would harbour hopes of doing say what Christo Reyes did: turn up at the World Championship, win a couple of games, and then have enough money. We can get a tour card. I think you'd have to win three games this year to get a tour card with the way things wow. have worked out with more and more money going into the tour. What is it, 11 and a half million this year? Yes, incredible. 25 years has come an awful Six. long way. 11 and a half million and, and possibly will go up more and more. Well, it will go up more and more. Half a million to the win of the World Championship by 2020. Mm -hmm. The first TDC World Championship for six thousand pounds Two, not enough to get the Canadian down to a finish. And Bruyne knows he needs to find a break, and this whoa, saves himself with the final dart. Quite right there, Russ. 63 scored. Not sure what Willie J was querying. Well, we're in that setup position again. That first little session before the break, he was setting it up perfectly. Then he's opened the door for Bruget to do exactly. And, and do you know, Michel, he's still got this game. Bruget may only get the one dart at double top, so he's got to think, right, where am I going? First dart's got to be at the 25. Oh, another one of those. Travel 14 may be better. Oh, no, he wants 32. Oh. Would have been a showstopper here in Vegas. Ball, ball, double 16. Two phenomenal darts to start, but couldn't pin double 16. Double 10, we've got a level game.
On little moments like that, games can turn. Well, Bruges is carrying on from his previous game with his doubles. He's not missing too much. He missed two darts at the double top, admittedly, in the first leg. But they were both on the wire. They weren't badly thrown. You know, if they would have been an inch away, then that upsets the concentration. But it didn't. 16. Well, Bruges with the throw has to be considered the favourite for this one now. Certainly now. This is his first TDC event, and he has hit almost two-thirds of his darts at double so far today. It is an astonishing performance from Bruges, matched only by the finishing of Dave Richardson, the man who awaits in the final. Yeah, that was a superb game, beaten White. I mean, Chris White was really fancy wow. by all of us to perhaps walk away with his title. Especially after his first game, but uh, those double stats is what gets you through. 81. But the 10 140s that Richardson hit, I mean, that we talk about scoring power, Dan. You know, Michael Van Gerwen had looked at and been extremely happy with 10 nice. 140s in a six leg, a six -leg match. <laughs> Just got to be careful here, Michelle, to leave a finish or 15 scores and help him out. That's so right, he switched over to the 18 and then to the 20s. In the end, he's not left a finish of any sort. So 20 for double top for Brugia to go into the lead for the first time in this match. It is 4-3. And he is two legs away. The quarterfinal is the biggest game of Willie Jay's life. The semi-final right now is the biggest game of his life. And he may be about to be involved in yet another biggest game of his life. 81. Well, the break come at a bad time for Michelle. He was the one who's playing the better, but after the break, Pouget has come out. And, and again, those doubles, he just seems so confident on them. I mean, the double top, there's no hesitation, there's no stepping back. You know, the fluency of the first two darts are there, so you just carry on. And it, and it isn't as if they're going in the court, they've been dead centre in that double top. On well, average of almost 96, 57% of his doubles hit. This is the sort of thing that can worry the big boys, that could pose a problem in the opening round of the US Darts Masters tomorrow. And it could be the sort of thing that propels him to the Ali Pali for a debut at the World Championship. But he's got to win two more legs here, and this is a big help. Well, it's the second time he's kind of wasted that third dart. I admit that you know, two trebles on a visit is incredible. Sometimes that third dart, you just don't miss the big number because it costs you a dart on the double when you get down there. And again, a big number missed. 85. That start gets him to a finish. Michelle being forced to use the bullseye route. Treble 18 for the bullseye. Well, he put two darts in the bullseye just a couple of legs ago. Couldn't find it with that dart. One, three, seven. Oh, well, a single 20 would have stuck him on double top. There is still a lot of pressure on this for the 21-year-old. Oh, and that has to be nerves. Yeah, the dart didn't come out of the hand very well there. Michelle now is only going to get one dart at a double. Three for double four. Big dart this is. Oh, and it's missed. Now the way Bruges has been hitting this double top. You kind of feel that it's going to be a formality. Double ten. Oh, and he's hit the 15 and left five. A reprieve for Michel. Double two levels the game at four apiece and keeps him right in it. That's a long way off. It's closer. But he cannot work his way up into the double. Do you know what, Dan, with the way his darts lie, that first dart should have been really attacked. But that double. And he's let it off.
And Bruchet is one leg away from the biggest Nine match of Rose his life, a final. At the PDC event, a big, big payday for him. He has the throw in two of the three remaining legs. He only needs to win one. Willie J, the policeman from South Dakota. <laughs> Still hitting 50% of his darts at double. Dawson Michelle came from behind in his quarter final. He won a last leg decider against David Cameron. He is going to have to do something similar here. And it's just a no-nonsense action from Bruget. Just sets it. A little reset, and then it's just a follow through. It is as basic as it gets, and when we talk about basic, it normally stands up under pressure. Well, there was a little wobble in his quarterfinal against DJ Sayre. He was cruising to victory, was Willie J. And then it all just deserted him for a couple of legs. Sayre came back before the man from South Dakota managed to close it out, 6-3. If he has another wobble here, Merchel may be able to take advantage. One. But he needs more than that. He, yes, he does. He needed a, a visit with two trebles there. He's just now hoping that Bruchet is not going to keep is. hitting the numbers. Well, he may get nine darts from here, which is easily achievable. However, he needs to find a treble. What is wow. his mentor, Jeff Smith, saying right now? He'll be watching this in the practice, or he may even be in the crowd here. What's, what's he, if he could get up there and give his young protege some advice, what would it be, Rob? Well, it would be stay focused. You know, if you're not going to hit the treble, don't miss the big number, because that's going to cost you a dart of the double, and at the moment, Anything can be costly. But he has missed a big number. Just the 35 scored. Yes, he had to go there to bring it down to a two dark combination because the 20 leaves him 102, which is the three dark. And this is not a bad check out if you get the first one in the treble. Oh, he's going for the two treble 18s now. A lot of players do that, but you practice on that treble 20 all day, every day. If you've got one dart in your hand, it's got to be in the treble 20. It is a two-dart checkout that Dawson Michelle has left himself. But there is no guarantee that he gets a dart at the double in this leg. Does he go double-double? Does he go at the 18s? He goes for the 18s, misses the number anyway. And it should be at least one match dart for a place in the final of the North American Championship. Willard Bruyere the third, Willie J. That will do nicely. Two darts at double top to seal the deal. Double ten. And he is through in his first PDC event. Willie J is through to the final. He will take on Davy Boy for a ten thousand dollar first prize and a debut of the World Championship at Alexandra Palace. Dawson Michelle has given us some magical moments here today in the Tropicana. But if he's going to make the world, he's going to have to find another route.